unit impulse function via delta function. The idea idea of a very large force acting acting for acting for a very short time is of frequent occurrence in mechanics. To deal with such and similar ideas, we introduce the unique impulse functions. So, also called Dirac delta functions. Thus, in unique impulse function is considered as the limiting form of function. So, it is called as limiting limiting form of function so limiting form of function thus in unit impulse functions is considered as limiting form of function and del s t minus a del s t minus a equals to epsilon where a less than equals to a plus epsilon please check this diagram this figure this is a this is epsilon a strip and epsilon and this is 1 by epsilon or this is del epsilon t minus a del epsilon, del epsilon t minus a function is called 1 by epsilon and otherwise zero everywhere this zero everywhere the english physicist paul dirac in 1902 84 who was awarded the nobel prize in 1933 for his work in quantum mechanics so friends this dirac delta functions is also important for quantum mechanics so you must remember the time is 1902 1902 to 84 his time physicist Paul Dirac hence epsilon tends to tends to zero it is clear from the figure that as epsilon tends to zero the height of the street increase indefinitely this street increased indefinitely indefinitely and the width decreases in such a way that its area is always unity thus the unit impulse function del t minus a a equals to infinity for t equals to a comma zero and t does not equals to a so such that zero to infinity del t minus a dt equals to one this is the integration formula and this is the illustrative the w0 acting at a point x equals to a a pin at a point x equals to a uh, of a beam may be considered as the limiting case a uniform loading w0 divided by epsilon per unit length over the portion beam between x equals to a and x equals to a plus epsilon so we can get wx is equal to w0 divided by epsilon a less than a x less than epsilon and 0 when the value is otherwise and wx is equal to w0 into del x plus a transform of unique impulse functions if ft be a function of t continuous at t equals to a then 0 to infinity ft into del into t minus a dt is equal to ft 1 by epsilon 0 is equal to a theta by according to the by the mean value theory okay is it clear okay as epsilon tends to 0 so 
whatever we get x x value tends to zero then this is the if if example example if ft is equal to e to the power minus st so laplace transformation of del t minus a is equal to e to the power minus a this is the very very important formula friends now this is my now i hope i can clear friends everything this is this video is only only for Dirac delta function here i just video i just try to explain Dirac delta functions and every i just try i am trying to to show all the property unit impulse the transform of unit impulse functions and definition of unit impulse functions thanks for watching but next video i shall try to discuss a problem based on dirac dirac delta functions this the problem is lcl circuit